going to do one of my favorites, which is uh, quantum spoon bending. I love this because we're like messing with time and space and chemistry and molecular bonding. It's so much fun. So I have here a fork. Whether you're using a fork, a knife, a spoon, we call it spoon bending just because. Um, your spoon, once upon a time, was not a spoon. It was metal ore deep in the ground. And then and just imagine you're like this happy bit of metal ore with all of your crystal and earth and ore brothers and sisters connected to the grids within the earth and the worms and grubs going by. And then some heavy machinery comes and digs you up and takes you off to a factory where you are like dumped in a pot, possibly even with metal ore from other parts of the world. And then you are like boiled, you're melted and boiled and all the impurities skimmed off. And then they pour you into these molds where you go from liquid to getting a little bit of a crust to becoming malleable to becoming solid, or then they package you and we buy you and you end up here. Right now, this bit of silverware, possibly a little stressed out, a little tense. <laughs> I mean, this is a very traumatic situation for a piece of metal ore. So just like you do with your friends who are stressed out, Give a little back massage, right? A little love, a little friendship, and remind it of a happy time. Remind it that it can be relaxed and go back in time. So he, here is the meditation. And if you plow your way through one and you want to pick up another, that's okay. I expect a lot of action of people walking around the room, grabbing silverware, picking up, putting down all throughout. So we're going to be playing a little bit with time wheels with this. As I said, it's quantum spoon bending. You may have heard of quantum time bending, quantum physics, quantum touch healing. It's lights turned out over there. Yeah. Were they on a timer? Yeah. <laughs> The perfect poltergeist moment. <laughs> the timer up here. Okay, so we're going to be, uh, you know, when I we're going to have a time wheel, just like our chakras spin, and if they're spinning one way or another way, because each chakra can spin in multiple directions depending on what it's doing at the moment. Time can spin. So we are going to now... <laughs> you blasted it! <laughs> so everyone relax. Um, it's okay if your eyes are open or closed. If they're open, let them be a little phasey, you know, hazy, unfocused. Hold a piece of silverware in your hands. Breathe, invite the energy to flow through you just as we did with a beautiful supporting root chakra spread deep and wide and your crown chakra open high and wide. All the beautiful energy flowing through your body, through your body into this beautiful, somewhat stressed out bit of silverware. Remind your silverware, remind your spoon of a time when it was not this way, a time when it was 
living deep underground with all of its meteorological, earthy, crystalline, underground animal brothers and sisters. A time when it was happy, being one with nature. And then it recalls when it was dug up, brought to a smelting center, or was turned to liquid, absolute boiling liquid, which may have been very exciting for the spoon. And then purified, poured into the mold, where it went from liquid to gooey, to malleable, Caress your spoon, invite it to remember when it was soft and malleable. Invite it to go backward in time. To go backward in time. Imagine like time is like a carousel or a Ferris wheel. You jump on it. And it's spinning, and you spin and spin faster, 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 until your spoon is back in time, soft and malleable. Bend your spoon. Put your force into it. Bend hard. Put your force into it, like you're helping massage a very tight muscle in a friend's shoulder. If the spoon starts to seize up, jump on that Ferris wheel faster, 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 and invite it to loosen up again. <laughs> 